Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Glitch, where I am very sick. Let's go over today's top story. It's been a while since we talked about GTA 5's modding scene, probably because GTA Online has blown up into this inflated cash cow of opulence and depravity, but it hasn't died out completely. A team of very dedicated modders have released a trailer for an upcoming peanut butter and jelly sandwich of a mod that slams GTA 4's Liberty City just across the pond from Los Santos. In order to get around the legal issue of distributing another GTA game files, the mod will require you to own GTA 4 and will rely on that fact to import and convert the files from the older title into the mod. Sure, there is no set release date, and aside from not having much to do there, it should be pretty neat to roam the combined mass of Los Santos and Liberty City. Just a small side note, the use of GTA 5 mods online will get you banned, so don't do that. Speaking of new maps, Overwatch has finally folded in the new control map Oasis into the official servers, adding it into the matchmaking rotation. The Desert Jewel features jump pads and murderous exploitable traffic, so go play that map right now. And a heads up to any Forza Horizon 3 players on PC. Similar to a recurring problem on Xbox One, PC users unfortunately found that the recent update was actually triggering you to re-download the entire Forza Horizon 3, all 53 gigabytes of it. Of course, that's not all. The new update seems to be an unencrypted dev build the Forza Horizon, which references loads of cars that haven't even been announced for the game yet. Developer Turn 10 has rolled back the changes, and any user that has already updated to the broken build should uninstall and reinstall the game. So PC players, if you're running the 37.2 build of the game, you are running a broken dev build and should reinstall back to the 35.2 version. And unfortunately, if you've played the game in this broken build, your save file probably won't go back. So avoid creating a new save on 37.2 if you haven't already rolled it back. Everything should be fixed now, so if you haven't updated Forza Horizon 3 in a while, you should be okay. Just make sure the version 35.2 before you do anything. And that's going to be it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed. We'll be back tomorrow with another daily glitch.